Hi, Water Signs. My name is Debbie, and I'm an intuitive reader. And I'm here today to give you guys your weeklies for May 7th until the 13th, 2023. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so if you are interested in your own private reading, all the information is down below in the description box below. Also, check out the link to my new book, Accepting the Gift. It's all about the paranormal. I wrote a book. So check it on out. We're going to start off first for the sign of Scorpio. Oh my, danced all the way out of there. Oh boy, that's a good one. Ace of Cups. Somebody's going to be dancing for joy. A uh, new start of love coming about. I do feel that. It's definitely coming out of the blue. <laughs> As you could tell, the card was dancing up a storm. Like, that was really weird energy. This is a meant-to-be relationship here with the judgment. It was all divine timing. It's going to come in quickly, even more so with that tower and the eight of wands here, okay? Uh, you're going to have to have some quick wit in regards to responding. Uh, you're going to be like, oh, <laughs> you know, with that quick uh, incoming energy by them. Stay strong, hear them out here. I do feel that it can come to that completion in a good way. I just heard natural way as well. So you're going to be a little nervous with that strength, I feel, you know, because it was sudden energy when they do come in. I do feel that. Uh, and you're going to, this is definitely coming out of the blue. You got the moon here, which is in the dark about things, kind of um, not lost so much, but more in the dark about things, you know, uh, especially with the tower and the eight of wands. This is speeding, coming on in, okay, unannounced, totally unannounced here for sure. Uh, all that confusion is done, definitely. There's now fellow movement, I just heard. Uh, but yeah, and that movement is communication, all right? You got the chariot here. They want to talk to you. They want to have this movement. They're making that decision to move forward with this for sure. And they want to heal a situation, definitely. Uh, I feel that they were kind of battling. Uh, they don't want to fight with you. Uh, they've been battling with their feelings. That I just heard holding back how they feel as well. But they do love you. Now, you do have the judgment, but you also have the two of cups here. So you could be dealing with either a twin or a soulmate. I'm feeling more soulmate here with this one, but does not have to be. There's definitely work that needs to be, I just heard, applied to work on things. But it's going to be uh, shocking, okay? They're going to take charge. They're charging in large. You could be dealing with an Aries here as well. But I do feel, however, uh, they were kind of quiet initially, but they're coming on in with that Knight of Wands here. I just keep pulling. Uh, but yeah, definitely, somebody's going to be doing the happy dance uh, in Scorpio world. Did you see how that, I don't know, I, I wasn't looking at the phone. Uh, but yeah, somebody, that card came flopping out like a little Irish gig, you know, <laughs> or jig, I'm sorry, not gig, jig there. Uh, so definitely, it's going to be kind of really fast, really sudden, really out of the blue. This is definitely a meant to be when it was supposed to come to that completion. It was meant to. Okay, I know that sounds bad, you know, because it did take a long time. You can see that here with this, but they are going to be returning with that communication, Scorpio, to heal things, to straighten things out. They really want to apply in this relationship and work on things with you again. I do feel that there was a huge, like, years uh, time frame that you have not talked to them as well. For somebody, I just heard three years. Hmm, that is a long time. Uh, but no, I know people have waited longer. So cancer for May 7th until the 13th. Wow. Somebody's truly in love with their counterpart here, their partner. Um, they're they're kind of like they're they've just kind of like blocked out. They're healing their energy. This is you, I'm feeling. Uh, you're healing your energy. It's kind of like I don't care how long it takes. I'm waiting. You know, uh, definitely waiting, um, waiting, and then the lovers here. So it could be twin flame, but just a deep, deep, deep down uh, love for this person, knowing inner knowing, knowing your intuition, you know, healing your energy, but no matter how long it takes here, you know, and boy, it's been a long journey with that nine of pentacles. Nine to me is a very long time waiting, uh, but yeah, it could have some kind of significance, even nine years as well. Oh, this is interesting. 
could be dealing with an earth sign here. I love it when they divide, this is what I found interesting. They divide the energies between male and female or, you know, partner and partner kind of thing. Uh, but definitely they pick up on your energy. They too have the nine, uh, which is twinning energy, which is also stated or felt like with that lover's card. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, you guys are, you guys are like two peas in a pod together. Another nine. So I feel that you, you pick up on their energy he or she picks up on your energy. Uh, you're mirroring, literally mirroring, looking at each other here. You feel each other's energies for sure. There's going to be this time of happiness, putting in this work. You both feel it. Uh, there's, It's like you guys can read each other's mind with no communication. You know, other than telepathic, of course, but like verbal communication, absolutely. Manifesting, thinking about each other, manifesting, planning out. Uh, yeah, this is intense. This is such a connection, Cancer. Wow. So let's review what we have learned. All right. Your intuition is spot on. Spot on. Okay. With do, following through with the steps of turning your back towards the, the, the learning lesson. You've learned your lesson. You've learned how to release. You've learned how to heal your energy here. You are positive. You know it. You know that they're coming back. Step two, <laughs> their energy is present as well. It's kind of like a twin flame reading, but shorter version. Uh, but yeah, they're balanced now. They miss you. They can feel you. They can hear you talking, all right? Because you do talk to them, definitely, telepathically here. They want to put in this work. They can't wait. They got ants in their pants, I literally feel. It is right on the verge of activation, you know, definitely. So it's kind of like they've been brainstorming. You've been brainstorming, meaning uh, manifesting. Both of you have been manifesting what the future would look like in the future, together. And when that communication, when that hard work gets put back into this, which is so close, I feel, uh, for whomever this is meant for, you're going to immediately start making plans. I don't know why I just heard Hershey Park. You could be going to an amusement park. You could be going to Hershey Park. I just saw somebody, somebody wants to go there. One of my Facebook friends, I was like, oh, I haven't been there in ages. Uh, but yeah, definitely somebody's making plans. That was really weird to hear that. I don't know where that came from. Uh, but yeah, definitely you could be going to Hershey Park or some kind of amusement park in general, okay? But there's going to be some big time plans and that's going to be spending good quality time together reuniting. Happy days are among you here, Cancer. Wow, that is really sweet. Very sweet. Very nice. I want to be a Cancer. Moving on to Pisces. Pisces for May 7th until the 13th. Some big time changes. I've been seeing that in a lot of the spreads uh, today for this week. Somebody knows what they need to do. They need to fix things. Whether you had a verbal fight or what, but they've been battling and they're frustrated and they don't know what to do. So they kind of got a nervous Nelly here and they cut off that communication. They didn't want to accept, they didn't want to admit in their mind here of how much that they love you. You know, their feelings, their emotions. You could have gotten into a verbal disagreement here, uh, but I feel that they, they know now, they've realized that they're frustrated with their own selves for getting too much uh, complicated in their head here over this easy, easier than they think situation. They're confused, basically, right out there. Uh, with the Seven of Cups. But the Seven of Cups is also known for making a decision in regards to love. And I do feel that they want to put that work in. Now, again, I did I did a sign and I can't remember who it was for. I think it was for one of the fire signs, but I'm not sure. Uh, somebody, it's not going to happen right away. I still feel that there's like another week. Uh, you know, it could be a month. There's some kind of significance to one here. Okay. Uh, but I feel that they're definitely mad at themselves for getting involved in their head, okay, for overthinking here, for not admitting emotionally of how much they do care, that they do love you here, and they're going to put in that work, okay? But I feel that somebody needs to know, Pisces, 
that somebody is on the return, okay? They're on the return. They're going to open up, but you just need that uh, some kind of reassurance here to kind of calm your mind, to give you that confidence, to give you that knowledge that, and that spiritual belief I just heard in regards to knowing that they are on their way back to return to you to work on things. They were just completely stubborn with their own energy here to put that work in. Yep, see? Uh, eight plus the three, last time I checked, that's 11. Uh, so definitely there's that strong connection. You got the two of cups. So there's that bonding moment in this relationship as well. They're going to come back kind of sly, sly on in there, you know, with that knight of wands here, checking the, testing the waters a little bit. Could be dealing with fire. You got a lot of fire here. You got Capricorn here as well. But definitely new beginnings, new way of thinking, uh, and new beginnings with this love. Uh, twin flame energy with that. You also have Gemini energy as well. But there's definitely a decision to bring in the bounce again because they, they are going to see the big picture because they're finally going to calm their mind down with that ton of pentacles and admit of how much uh, they love you. Not just to themselves, which was a huge factor in this reading, but more so directed to you. And that's what I have for not just Pisces, but for all the water signs out there for this week of May 7th until the 13th, 2023. Thanks, guys. Have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.